By the end of this video, you'll learn whether or not probiotics have permanent effects in the gut and how you can enhance their permanency. How's it going guys? It's Chris with HealthyConsumer.com and this is TJIF Talking Gut Immuno Fridays where every Friday we're discussing the topic of gut health and immunity and improving those two so that can include things like sinus health as well. If that's something that interests you, consider subscribing and hit the little bell so you never miss another TGIF. By 2023, probiotic sales are expected to surpass 64 billion US dollars. Now that is obviously a very impressive figure and there's no one wonder why it's happening when people are having such difficulties with their guts and people are turning to probiotics on how to make them, what to buy, how to buy it, and it's an overwhelming process. Now there are several different ways that you can get more probiotics in your diet and the most obvious is in the pill form of probiotics, commercial probiotics. Of course there's things like kefir fermented carrot juice, fermented beverages like beet juice, uh, kimchi, sauerkraut, so many different types of fermented foods and beverages. There's a lot of options out there. But the question is, do they have permanent effects in the gut? And I believe the short answer is no. And this has been shown in several studies now. And it's because there's a big difference between commercial probiotics with our current technologies and how they're being developed and traditional probiotics like things like fermented dairy or some of the other things that we talked about. The majority of the bacteria you have at your gut was established at birth, especially if you were delivered vaginally. So that is where you're going to get your microbiome and you accumulate more of this as you're growing up playing through the dirt and getting more diversity in your bacteria in your gut. The problem with commercial probiotics is that they are sporeless and they do not implant on the gut wall. They are not able to reproduce. So while commercial probiotics have an effect on your overall health, they certainly do. They don't have permanent effects because they're not able to reproduce. This is awfully convenient for probiotic producers, of course, and I don't know whether or not those type of probiotics will be developed from a commercial standpoint because, well, honestly, it's not a good business model for them. Whereas we do know that eating a different diet massively shifts the microbiome, so people going from carnivorous diets to more vegetarian or even vegan plant-based diets have a massive shift in their microbiome in as little as a few weeks. And this completely changes their internal environment. So we do know that permanent effects can be achieved based on what you eat, which is why I encourage people to get more fermented foods into their diets. I do, ha I do have a video on making your own homemade probiotics using fermented carrot juice, which I'll put in the description below. I highly encourage you to check that out if you're looking for a cheap solution to probiotics at home. The big thing here is fiber and having prebiotics to feed these new bacteria, especially from a natural source of bacteria like fermented foods. If you have that fiber that goes along with it, like kimchi, like sauerkraut, the cabbage that's in there can act as a fiber to feed the bacteria. You could take probiotics all day, but if you're eating donuts and all these fried foods and things, it's not gonna matter because you're still gonna colonize these bad bacteria or yeast that are going to create more health problems for you. So you have to feed the bacteria with the correct foods as well. So now you know that commercial probiotics typically do not have a permanent effect in the gut and how you can use natural sources of probiotics to achieve a more permanent effect in the gut through prebiotics and through fermented foods. I hope this was helpful, guys. This has been an episode of TJIF, where every Friday we're talking about gut health, immunity, things like sinus health, and how all those correlate together to improve your overall health. If you're interested in that, consider subscribing. Hit the little bell so you never miss another video. And I look forward to seeing you at the next episode. Mondays, we do Mental Health Mondays for stress, depression, anxiety. Wednesdays, we do Working Body Wednesdays where we look at functional movement and posture so you can better navigate through your day. Thanks a lot for stopping by, guys, and I look forward to seeing you at the next episode.